In this tutorial, we'll look at how you can open the different types of Spitfire audio libraries in Logic Pro X. As a starting point, here are some settings to be aware of. First, we'll head to Logic Pro X, Preferences and Audio. From here, you can set your input and output devices and select different ones if you wish. We also recommend setting your buffer rate to 1024 samples. Once you've finished setting up your preferences, select Apply to save them. You'll also find your MIDI devices in the MIDI Control Center, where you'll find them under Inputs and also in Control Surfaces above. To open a Spitfire Audio plugin library, go to your Instrument list, AU Instruments, Spitfire Audio, where you'll find the full list of your plugin products. Hit create to open the plugin and it will open automatically in your window. To close the plugin, simply click X and to reopen again, select the blue icon in the inspector panel. To open an SA Recordings library, go to your instrument list, AU Instruments, SA Recordings, where the full list of your products can be found. Select create and the plugin will open straight away. To close the plugin, you can click X in the top left corner, and to reopen it, select the blue icon in the inspector panel. To open a contact player library, navigate to your instrument drop down, select AU Instruments, Native Instruments, and the version of contacts you wish to use. Hit Create, and the plugin will open automatically. When you're in the contact plugin, Navigate to the library you wish to open in the library window. Select the instrument drop down and double click on the NKI to open the library. To open a contact full library, navigate to the instrument drop down, select AU Instruments, Native Instruments and the version of contact that you've paid for. Select Create and once you're inside the plugin, go to the Files tab, select the device you installed the library on and navigate to the library folder. Once in the library folder, select Instruments and double click on the NKI to open the library in Contact. To open a library in Complete Control, navigate to the Instrument drop down, select AU Instruments, Native Instruments, Complete Control. Once you're inside the plugin, select All Instruments and the library you wish to use. Once you've opened the library, you can then select the presets you wish to open in Complete Control. In Logic, there are two sets of MIDI automation to be aware of. You can see this by selecting the automation window or hitting A on your keyboard. You can then switch between track and region mode. Region mode is where you'll find modulation, also known as dynamics, expression and sustain. To quickly duplicate a plugin in Logic, we can select the Duplicate Instrument button. From here, we can rename the track and then close the current plugin to open the plugin we just created. You can then select a different instrument and then to switch between them quickly, select the Attach button where you can now switch between the plugin without having to close and reopen it every time. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks and exclusive Spitfire content.